We will now move to item 4.9, uh, responses to student protest. Thank you. Uh, with me today is, is Peter Wright, who's the manager of our, our grant uh, from the California Emergency Management Agency. So he's going to provide you with some, some details on, on uh, what we are doing in this area. But I will briefly provide an introduction. Uh, at the last board meeting, there was a discussion about some of the, the recent uh, protests at higher education institutions and the responses to those protests by campus officials. And the board was uh, interested in, in having some discussion about the role of the Board of Governors in, in, uh, in, in such matters and whether the board should, should take uh, more of an active role or, or, if, or if the board should participate in, in some way. Uh, we, we are here to, to ha have continue that discussion. I want to preface it by saying I, that the, uh, these matters are, are, are primarily handled locally uh, by the admin local administration, local police and security forces are, are employed uh, to respond to student protests. Uh, the, the Chancellor's Office does not have a, an active role at this time in, uh, in policing matters in, in the same way that we do with student services and instruction and such things. Uh, but we do uh, have some opportunity to, to influence events uh, and primarily in recent years it, it has been through the, uh, the, the grant funding and the, the work that Peter has, has, has done for us. And uh, with that I will turn it over to Peter and he can give you an overview of some of the things that have been going on. Thank you Steve. Good morning or good afternoon President Hillstein and Chancellor Scott and members of the board. It's good to see you all again. And as Steve said, uh, protests, uh, student protests have happened recently not just in California but really across the world. And the commonality uh, behind these protests is uh, protesting economic inequality and especially protesting um, increase in, in student tuition. And protests are really nothing new to our colleges as um, uh, freedom of expression and civil discourse are really core values of higher education. And I think most would agree that images of peaceful students protesting belong on our college campuses and maybe we should even encourage it. But I think no democratic citizen wants to see members of a college community getting hurt, the continuity of business or education coming to a stop, or property being damaged. So I think like most things, ensuring a safe learning environment requires some balance. Um, although putting policies into place to ensure the balance is a local responsibility, if, if that's the way you should choose to 